I wanted to ask about Miami. Why, why Miami? Yeah. Uh, Miami was actually a team that um, when free agency hit, I did some research and I looked across the league to see what teams needed linebackers. And they were actually the top of the list in terms of teams that needed linebackers. So I was actually was hoping that they called. And fortunately enough for me, I was on a, a wedding. I was at a wedding in, um, in Cabo, Mexico. And when I got back, my agent called and said, oh, Miami called you. And they said, if you're willing to sign, they'll bring you out to a trip. So I knew as soon as I got off the plane right there at about 11 o'clock at night, I said, this is this is probably the place I'm going to be. So it was, what, 75? And 75, <laughs> it was breezy. I knew I can pack away all my cold weather gear. So I've been in cold weather since yeah. Oregon days. So I said, hey, you might as well change it up a little bit. Back to L.A. weather. A little yeah, bit yeah. Okay. So uh, how, how similar is the uh, dolphin life to ballers? Have you seen ballers? <laughs> oh, man. And it's actually funny because The Rock's name is Spencer and he plays for Miami. So I've gotten a few texts from that. Um, but for the most part, it's <laughs> I'd say it's, it's fabricated a little bit, but there is some truth to it. I mean, they wouldn't be telling the story if there wasn't a little bit of truth to it. So, yeah, it's, I'm interested to see how the season goes. Yeah. So I'm interested in how a guy like yourself who came in, you weren't a first-round pick, but you stayed relevant. Mm -hmm. Four or five years now, you're going mm -hmm. into fifth year, right? Going on five, yes. How do you do that when you aren't a guy who people are going to jump off at? Oh yeah, we got to. Yeah. I mean, you kept yourself very valuable. How do you do that? Yeah, that's, that's actually something I've been telling a lot of the kids here when I when I get them uh, to myself with a linebacker for this. I mean, I've been fortunate enough to be in the league going on five years, and I'll, I'll be the first to tell you I'm not the fastest, the strongest, or the quickest on the field. But for me. Uh, I think the two key things are, you know, gaining the coach's trust and just knowing your playbook. And I feel like those two things go hand in hand. And I've seen guys come and go that are way more athletic than me, but they think they can get by on just athletic talent. And for me, it's it's something that Chip taught me years ago in terms of taking care of little things. So maybe that's studying an extra, you know, 15 minutes a night or 20 minutes a night or staying back a little bit longer than some of the other guys just to go over some of the plays that you didn't really get too well in practice. So I just really think it comes down to players I mean players getting uh, coaches trust uh, knowing your material and just willing to do things other guys want sure. is, is there a Super Bowl hangover still I mean not hangover but is there like a halo effect where you feel like you still consider yourself wow Super Bowl champion uh, honestly Does for me away? I'm I'm more so the guy that I'm was fortunate enough to get that in a whirlwind from going from the um, playing the national championships and next year playing in the Super Bowl. And but for me, it's that was a great experience. But I actually gave the Super Bowl ring to my grandfather about six months after that. I said, just keep it safe for me because right now I'm, I'm trying to chase another one. Yeah. And I don't like to wear it too much. Uh, I don't really take it out of its case. It's something that was great that happened in 2011, but. You know, right now I'm trying to get another one, so I actually have it out here. It's at home. I'm probably going to bring it the last day to show some of the kids it. Uh, but for, for the most part, it, it was great, but I'm trying to get another one. You got Super Bowl ring out here. Are you going to show it to the kids? Yeah, on the last day I'll bring it out to the kids.